So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you about the rough sketch of Judy Habit. She is international model, and uh, after one minute, you are going to see the rough sketch from the scratch. But it, uh, in order to tell you about the brief introduction of that video, I just took the middle of part of that video. So it is the starting point where I had started. So so I'm going to make that uh, uh, first of all. Uh, the rough idea of that sketch and uh, I just want to tell you that it's a real time sketching and I didn't even uh, increase the speed and I had shown here at each and every part of that steps so so first of all I'm just taking rough idea of that thing and uh, I'm just zooming that uh, video so uh, I will just make some a rough idea of that thing like I'm not pretty sure about that it's going to be a real uh, measurement of that thing so I'm just taking because it's just pencil and I can erase any time so I'm just doing that thing and after that I'm just marking the forehead and the uh, connection between the ears side of ears and that forehead and then after that I will just attach the other area of that forehead too I'm not telling you that it's the actual uh, width of that face because after that uh, I will erase surely so I'm just making here some rough ideas where my nose lips and eyes should be because if you are not going to keep uh, your eyes lips and nose so it doesn't matter whatever kind of shapes you have made in your eyes nose lips you're not going to get the perfect sketch and perfect face so it's really important where you are putting your eyes and your nose and lips of that sketch so i just made it uh, some rough idea and i could see from here that it's far uh, far more than the actual width so i'm taking the rough idea of where my eye should be and uh, after making two eyes, I will get a little bit idea of that real sketch. So I'm just making according to this. And I am just drawing the simple line of uh, the side of that eyes. And after that, I'm measuring that where uh, it is the left area from my side. So, so where should be my left eyes? Like from here, it is it's being starting. So after that, I will measure here. So, after taking that measurement, I will simply draw that eyes, like outline of that eyes. And, uh, like I'm telling you, it's not the final eye I'm making. It's just, uh, just a rough idea. And, uh, it is really amazing if you are a beginner. And, uh, and if you are a beginner, so I will prepare you to take the straight face, like, front faces because it will be more easy for you to make and uh, it took me maybe 20 and 30 minutes to make that sketch so so after some time maybe if I will be uh, pretend uh, like perfect on that thing so I will be able to make that kind of sketch in within 15 minutes but right now I'm still immature so but I just want to share each and every step of my journey so I'm just making here first of all I have made um, here the little eyes like the eyeball of that thing and after that I will again measure that thing and uh, try to get to the point and after that I will erase that thing as, as well in order to have a great perfection I just making I'm making here the eyelashes and after that there is uh, some area at the top of the eye I'm making here so I have found my eraser so it says that eraser you can get from any stationery and after that I just erase whenever I want to have some edges uh, sharpening in my drawing so I always take that eraser and try to sh take the help from the sharpener and try to erase every time so I'm just fixing few edits here like few 
outlines of the eyes. And I will uh, put that a reference photo in the description. So don't worry about that. You can try that sketch too. Because it's uh, like finding a friends is the really tough task. So I have made here, I guess I could see that it's uh, far away than the actual eyebrows from here. So I will try to make sure that what is the actual distance. And I could see that it should have started from a few lines. from the bottom so I'm just making here and then I will uh, shade so I can fix those things but in order to have some like the like that part is here I'm just making here a bit of a sketch then I'm raising the extra part and after that, I will make the nose measurement and I will make see the line and the straight line where my where should be my second eyes for that sketch for sure. And I'm making here, and I always like to uh, take observation time to time, like in a time not going at the wrong side. So I always try to take the measurement of that because no matter how perfect you have made the uh, outline of the eyes and nose and lips, it, it's not in a perfect place. So it's not going to be workable for a sketch and our practice. And few small details we can measure by our our mind like there is no need to count uh, every observation at every time so I always uh, prefer to take small details by my own and uh, and gradually when you will be more uh, you will take more practice so you will know more precisely about the observation and you don't have to take you will not have to take uh, uh, observation kind of things every time so you will be in more practice and I could see that uh, from the like the right side of eyes there is extra part I just made it like the extra work that I had done so so I will fix that things too so uh, first of all I will make here the final line of that uh, right side and I will fix here the eyebrows too and I will fix the right cheeks of that object too so I am fixing that part too and after that I need to make sure that where the actual hair is starting so, so I am making the final line of that thing And it's time for me to fix the red checks as I was telling you. So the extra part should be removed. And uh, for in order to make the nose, I will simply just make the actual shape, like what kind of shape I am looking for this. So I will first make the circle and then after that measure like the actual width of that nose and try to like it. It's being like pendulum. <laughs> so I'm just making that way. Like I'm just kidding, but I'm making in that way too. And uh, this nose is so simple, so it didn't take me too long to make. So that was smooth. And after that, I will take the distance between the nose and from the lower lips. And I will make here. Uh, I'm kind of fixing the nose hole of the left side. No, no, no. Like the <laughs> left side hole of the nose. Uh, so it's time for me to make the lips it's kind of showing the blur effect sorry for this okay so fixed I fixed that 
So I will make uh, the lips. So I'm just making the middle cut of that lips. Just made it that, and I will make sure that where, like how much width I need to have to make that lips. And I could see that it it should be uh, like it should uh, be started from the left eyeball to the right eyes starting so just made it in that way and after that I fixed that upper lips and it's time for me to make the lower lips so I just fixed that and I know that from here it should be started so so I'm making the final and you could see like I could feel that it's uh, it's it's showing me the feature of Gigi Hacken. So if you are not feeling that it is so, like I could see, anyone can could feel that the sketch is being pretty nice. And uh, within 15 minutes, we have made that sketch. And and after the final result, you will find that video in a fast moment so you could slow down the video according to you it's not going to be too much fast it will be like uh, 1.5 um, times fast than the actual video okay so after fixing those things I will make the top area of that sketch so I'm making here the ears too. So I'm making here the top line. But before making the top area, I would like to make the neck area of that object. So I'm making here. So I'm making here the neck area. So. Uh, I'm not going to measure it every time as I have said here so I will simply make and if you feel that you need to make the measurement of that thing so you can measure according to you so I'm just measuring here you can measure from your divider and whatever that which you could have so uh, I'm just making here according to me okay so I made it that thing and it's what for like it's time for me to make the ears so as the shape I could see here I make it under to this and now it's time for me to make the internal shapes of that ears sorry ear it's only one okay so I'm making cut into this and removing the extra part of that shape so it's about to finish part of that and it's time for me to make the ears like where sh should be my ear so just so wing that like it's a huge I need to observe that I can't make anything so I'm just observing and you need to remove the extra part too because it's crucial to know more about your object whatever you are making and I will make here the bun of that object the air bun and I will make in order to show you that it's here like in order to have to do that it's the part of the ears I'm making a few lines I'm drawing a few lines and removing the extra part too and 
that would be the final result. And uh, for your bun, you can see something messing around that here bun. So I'll make a padding to whatever I could see. So it's time for finalizing that drawing. So I will first of all um, fixing the neck area, like neck design and that top, whatever GD had worn. And shoulder area, you can measure too, but I'm not measuring because it's the last part. So, it will be more easy for me to shade. I will make every few details here, each and every few details. So, so I just do, I'm done with that rough sketch. So if you like that video, so please do subscribe, like and share. And I have to tell you that I have covered each and every area. So, and every time I will try to keep posting the rough sketch. So make sure to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.